Italy continues to mourn the passing uh, footballing legend Paolo Rossi, 1982 World Cup hero. Passed away earlier this week at the age of 64. There you see some of the headlines. Tutto Sport summing it up simply for always. Craig's still with us, so is Shaka. We'll get Shaka's thoughts in just a moment. But Craig, you were telling me 1982, really your first World Cup experience as a fan, at least. Yeah, I think as a 10 or 11 year old, just watching it and, and seeing all these great players that I'd never seen because we didn't get the pictures back mm -hmm. then. There was hardly any soccer on TV, uh, particularly not from, from other countries in Europe. But the game that I remember was, was Rossi scoring a hat trick mm -hmm. in this game here against a fantastic Brazil side in the knockout stages. And the game was 3 2. It was a terrific game. They got Socrates and Zico and Adair and Junior. And of course, this great Italian side and, and Paolo Rossi was just back, I believe, from a... He had a three-year ban yep. for a match-fixing scandal that was reduced to two years. So Enzo Berzo could pick him, select him for that Italian team. And I just remember him as this great poacher of goals in there. Of course, in the final, Tardelli got the great win when he's running away, given all that. But <laughs> that was the first, type, the first World Cup that I really remembered. And I remember watching that game in particular. Brazil versus Italy because there were so many great players on the field and of course Paolo Rossi got a hat trick to knock out that great Brazilian team. Uh, Rossi won the golden boot, the golden ball and of That's course uh, the tournament. Yeah, not, not a bad uh, summer's worth of work there. Uh, Shaka, you always say that 1978 was your first World Cup but you obviously would have been paying attention in 82. What do you remember about Rossi? Yeah, listen, as, as coming from Trinidad and Tobago, and it's almost by default you adopt Brazil as, as the national team that you follow um, for, for these international competitions. So from a Brazil perspective, heartbreak in 78, especially with Argentina going on to win it. And then that 82 team and how talented it was, still referred to as the best team to have not won the World Cup. All the expectation around Brazil going into that tournament, even all the pre-game, expectation on Brazil against Italy, um, how, how one-sided was going to be, and then up steps Paolo Rossi and, and his hat-trick hat that, that Craig mentioned. For me also, um, it, it was kind of my, my, my first exposure to that kind of striker and, and in the, in the six-yard box kind of striker, as instinctive, as clinical as, as he was, uh, and how the ball always seemed to find players like, like Paolo Rossi. That was an education for me as, as a young fan, uh, despite the disappointment around Brazil, and, and an experience that I will never forget, or at the very least, a performance and an individual that I will never forget. Of course, a uh, hat-trick in the match against Brazil, a couple goals in the semi-final against Poland, and then the opener in the final against West Germany. There you see the many career accomplishments of Paolo Rossi passed away earlier this week at the age of 64. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.